Hi, it's Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead. Today we're going to be making homemade pizza dough. First, I'm going to go ahead and take some active dry yeast and put it into a bowl. I've put in a teaspoon and a half of granulated cane sugar. And then I'm going to add in a cup of warm water. We don't want it hot because it will kill the yeast, but warm water. We're going to go ahead and add that in there to the mixture and we're going to go ahead and let this sit until it puffs up and then we'll come back to it. Hi, we're back and our yeast has kind of poofed. It's kind of a little fluffy. So in my bowl here, I've put in two cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of olive oil. I've used this one, the light tasting one. Uh, it's supposed to be good for baking. And I've put it in here and mixed it in. <clears throat> to this, we're going to go ahead and add our yeast. Again, our yeast has kind of poofed up and made it kind of fluffy. I'm going to kind of stir that in. I'm also going to put on top of that another cup of flour. So total there is three cups of flour. I'm going to go ahead and stir it. Try to get all the flour in the dough. You know, mix it in. It will look like this. It will look like it's dry. Next, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and knead it out on a board. My hands are clean. Go ahead and put it down. I'm going to knead it until it is no longer soft. You can just take your hand, like the heel of your hand, and kind of push down on it and keep on folding the dough over and over. That feels pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and put this dough into another bowl. Uh, bowl that I have uh, greased or sprayed with this. I've sprayed it with olive oil spray. If you don't have a spray, you could always just take olive oil and put a little bit in there and smear it around in the bowl. And we're going to go ahead and put our pizza dough in the bowl and we're going to let it warm in uh, a place for, oh, uh, for about an hour. And then when we come back, I'll show you what we're going to do next. We're back. Our dough's been sitting for about an hour. We're going to go ahead and punch it down with our hands and fold it over. And now we're going to go ahead and then wrap it back up and let it rise again for another 30, 30 minutes. All right, I've gotten the dough out of the bowl and I've stretched the dough onto this pizza stone. And now I'm going to go ahead and make a pizza sauce to go on top. You could also use a jar pizza sauce. The one I'm going to be making is a white garlic pizza sauce. All right, I'm making the white garlic sauce for the pizza. I have cut two cloves of garlic, you could use three, and I put in two tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm cooking it over medium heat, and I'm wanting to kind of do maybe about two, two to three minutes. I want some of the garlic to kind of change and get a little bit brown, but I don't want it burnt. So we'll just do it a few minutes. Okay. 
To this, I'm going to add in two and a half tablespoons of all-purpose flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of oregano. And next, I'm going to add in one and a half cups of milk. Now you can add whole milk if you would like to make it a little bit richer. This is 2% milk. And now I'm gonna try to break up the lumps. And I'm gonna cook this until it gets a little bit thick. It could be another two to three minutes. Now the sauce is bubbly and you can see it's just starting to thicken up. And I don't want it too thick, so I'll just do it a, like for a minute or so. And I'm gonna turn down the heat. I had it on medium high. Now I think that's pretty good. Just keep on stirring so you don't have it, you know, we don't burn the sauce. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove from heat. I'm going to go ahead and let it just sit here for a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and get my crust and we're going to put it on our crust. I've taken the sauce and I've put it on to our pizza crust, which I have on the stone. We are going to bake it at 450. Uh, I'm going to bake it for 15 minutes and then I'm going to take it out and then I'm going to put on my toppings. Uh, you can put any topping on there you want, pepperoni, sausage, pineapple. We like a lot of extra cheese, so I'll probably put extra cheese All on right. it. Pizza has baked for 15 minutes. I'm taking it out to put on the toppings. My husband likes pineapple, so I've got that one side of the pizza uh, that's going to be pineapple for him. And then I've taken some cheese and I have shredded it myself. So I'm going to take the cheese and just start putting it all over the pizza. When I get this done, I'm gonna pop it back in the oven and do it for another two to three more minutes and then it will be done. Well, the pizza's all done. It's out. I'm going to let it cool maybe five, no more than ten minutes, and that way I can cut into it. If you like what you've seen today, please hit the subscribe button down below. This is Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead. I hope you have a good day.